Hey guys, so this is um, going to be a summary of just the town. It's not really a book review. I'm not going to tell you um, <laughs> the story because I want you to read. I think more people need to read. But I just wanted to show you um, this book. It's a 1957 version. Obviously, there are some imperfections. First page, second page is published by Random House, New York. This is the copyright page. So as you can see, it's actually a first printing, um, which just means that it was a first edition, but then also like the first printing set as a first edition. And then on this page, it shows volume two, Snopes. So if you know anything about William Faulkner, um, he actually had, there's a Snopes trilogy. So this goes along with two other books. The first one was called The Hamlet. And it was published in 1940. And then this one didn't come along until 1957. Followed by The Mansion in 1959. And so those were the three books from the Snopes trilogy. I'm not going to like show you every page. Um, how many pages does this one have? So let's see. Um, 371 pages the back shelfware obviously because of the age um, and there you have it that's the town by William Faulkner if you have this and you can or you find it or um, and it has the dust jacket the cover um, it's actually worth a couple hundred dollars I would say as long as it's in good condition and then if you happen to find one that was signed by William Faulkner, because there were about, I think it was 450 of these that were signed by William Faulkner, then you're, you're talking about a value of thousands of dollars. Um, so I hope you keep reading and keep finding cool books. I'm just going to keep posting the cool books that I found. So thank you for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, I'd appreciate um, you subscribing and ringing that bell so you can get alerted whenever I post a new video. Thanks, guys.